Hello. In this video, I'm going to go step by step on setting up a phishing campaign within AWS. So you're going to learn real world cybersecurity skills while doing this. You're going to learn basic AWS networking concepts. You're going to learn how to install a phishing simulator. You're going to learn configuration and security. And this is foundational knowledge if you want to work in cybersecurity awareness and training. If you're new to my channel, I'm Nicole, and I currently work within governance, risk, and compliance. And if you're wanting to gain hands-on experience with governance, risk, and compliance, I do have a free GRC project list below in the description. So make sure to check that out. All right, so now we are going to stall a phishing simulator. So then on your own time, legally, you can practice on what exactly a phishing campaign is. What we're going to do is we're going to start out at the AWS Marketplace. I'm assuming you already have an AWS account. And but this marketplace, we're going to type in Go Fish Simulator, and we're looking for the one by Hail Bytes. We're going to click that. This is going to just put continue to subscribe. It's free for the first week. And then we're just going to continue to configuration. We're going to leave all of this the same. This looks good. Continue to launch. And then what we're going to do is choose action. Make sure it's launch from website. EC2 instance, I have trade three medium. You really don't need that big, but I'm just not going to change it. Now for the VPC settings, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to watch this carefully because you can mess this up, but you're going to want to go to create VPC. You're going to make sure that it's a VPC more. This is a virtual network that you're creating. And by doing the VPC more, it creates the subnets for you, the internet gateways, it does the routing table, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Here, you're just going to go to Fishing Campaign Demo 500. Then for the CIDR block, you're just going to put 172.15.0.0.15, not 15, 24. There we go. IPv6, you can just leave the same one availability subnet, number of public subnets, just one, private, just one, none. You don't need any of that. And for the DNS options, ensure that both of these DNS host names and resolutions are created. Now we're going to go to create VPC. And it is creating, which is fantastic. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to view VPC and then we're going to make sure this A7AC is going to match what we are doing right here. So I have a multiple of them. You may or may not, but we want it to be the same. So A7AC. Now for the subnet, you want this to make sure that this is on the public subnet. If you put this on the private subnet, it's not going to work without doing a bunch of other stuff, which we're not going to go into. So how you can figure that out is you just scroll down here. You have the VPC. And now we're going to look at this and it will say if it's public or not in the name. Subnet ECF, 5 ECF is public. We're going to go back over here. And then we're going to make sure that we're choosing the right one. As you can see, the wrong one was chosen. If I chose that, I wouldn't be able to get to my phishing campaign. And then the, we're just going to choose that. And then for a security group, we're going to do this. And then we are going to name the security group. Uh, I'm just going to name it all, I don't know, 500 Fishing. That is a horrible name. Don't copy me. Just, just do something better than that. So here we're just going to go fish. And here you're going to want to create your own key pair settings. I have my own. And then make sure this is saved. And then I'll be able to launch it. Before I go on, I must go back to the VPC. Don't forget to do this because it's very important and will save you a hassle later. I'm going to go to VPC. I'm going to go to that public subnet. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to actions. I'm going to edit the subnet and then make sure that this is enabled. So this is going to make sure that instance has an automatic IP address. So then you don't have to go through the trouble of creating one and then associating it. And trust me, it's a pain, pain to do. Uh, now that looks good. So what we are going to do now is we're just going to launch. All right. Great. 
we're making progress. Now I'm going to go over to EC2 instance right here. And then I'm going to go to the instance 2. And then I'm looking for the one with no name. So yours, I did this earlier. So just ignore this. I'm actually just going to terminate that. So we're just looking for the one without a name. So what you're going to look for is you're going to notice that this is initializing. So we're just going to wait until this is finished initializing. I'm going to pause the video and I will come back when this is done. Okay, now that we see two out of two checks have passed, it took about five minutes. So now what we are going to do is we are going to go to this instance. And then we're going to just open this address. Now it's not going to work immediately. So we're just going to type in 36, 30, 636. And we're going to say that the connection is not private. Sometimes Safari will let me. And now we had to go through that clicking. And so as you can see, now we have this beautiful web page. In order to log in the uh, going to be admin, and I know all of this because I read the instructions, you have to read the instructions. You'll never be able to figure this out of nowhere. And then the password is going to be the instant ID. All right. And now, as you can see, we have a dashboard and we can just run campaigns now. I'll have another video going into like phishing campaigns and how to set one up. But for now, this is it. And let's move on to the next project. Bye.